I'm Kurt Kelly for Live Video Inc. and Actors Reporter. And now a special presentation of Sophia Skaya's private screening of White Swan at Warner Brothers, as well as the after party at the Smokehouse in Burbank, and special clips from the American film market talking about the release of White Swan, the Russian-American film. We wish them huge success. I'm Kurt Kelly for Actors Reporter and Live Video Inc. Stick around. White Swan is the movie where Sofia Skaya plays the part of Maya, a beautiful Russian ballerina. In fact, Sofia grew up as a ballerina in Russia. And her entrepreneur husband, played by Christian Slater, who is killed by the Russian mafia. Maya is then framed and persuaded by the Russian mafia to find financial documents that are worth millions of dollars. Later, Maya is imprisoned by corrupt cops who are looking for the documents. While in prison, Maya's daughter is taken hostage. It's now up to Maya to fight her way out of prison and save her daughter from her captors, while having to question her relationships with friends and newfound acquaintances. This movie is actually based on a book that was in the 80s of things that were going on with American businessmen and the Russian mafia. Now let's join the White Swan private screening with a special interview with Sofia Skaya. I'm Kurt Kelly for Actors Reporter and Inside Interview um, with Sofia Skaya, who is a star and a director of the film that we just watched here in a private screening at Warner Brothers lot of White Swan, and you really are. <laughs> yes, I am, sir. <laughs> so you have been dancing since you were four. That's right. Why did you take a movie like this that obviously has the beauty of being a ballerina? Mm -hmm. but also the martial arts that is not seen by someone of your beauty. Most often. Um, I did uh, another action movie before this one. Yes. And I really enjoyed all these moves and, you know, all these faces being hit. And um, I really enjoy to work with any moves. So. Um, and you do your own stunts in these films. You don't have stunt doubles. No. No, it's principle. <laughs> Do you find that difficult when you're used to dancing and all of a sudden you're, you're kicking somebody's... ...into another planet? Well, it's as if uh, Grigorovich or some, you know, big ballet yes. master would uh, show you moves of, you know, in, in between of ballet to hit, you would do that, right? Yes. So when they show you moves, you automatically repeat what they do. So it's, it doesn't feel like a fight, it feels like a dance to me. There was one scene in the film where you're jumping in midair and you do a split kick and take out two very big men. Mm -hmm. And that wasn't any editing or special effects, that was all you? Yeah. Well, the jump was mine. Yes. But, of course, I didn't hit anybody. Oh, okay. <laughs> it looked like it, though. It's supposed to... Yes, I did that by myself, mm -hmm. but imagine if since since I was four I've been trained for like eight hours a day um, to just focus on dancing and moves and you know all that. So it's like it's my first professional and actually So good when at you it. started at four and you went away to dance school, mm -hmm. was this your idea or mom and dad said, you know, you're gonna be a ballerina? Who made this decision? I love dancing, and my grandmother and my grandfather from my father's side are very artistic people. Yes. Uh, my grandmother played um, arc. Yes. How do you call arc? Uh, like a harp? harp. I mean, yes, harp. okay. And she moved from St. Oh, Petersburg to Ufa, where I studied. Yes. And she signed a contract for 10 years to work in their theater because they had nobody uh, playing uh, harp. The harp. Yes. And... Uh, while she was there, she made a lot of friends, and yes. some of them were from ballet world. And when I came to visit her, they saw me and they said that this girl is uh, uh, looking just like a ballerina. She has to do that. And, <laughs> and I stayed there, and I loved that for a while. <laughs> um, and they got me into a school. Was it challenging so, growing up where you left normal school and you went to study ballet and you were with just women all the time, was it? It's a different world. It wasn't just women because there is like seven different types of dancing we were studying. It's yes. 
it's not just ballet, it's partnering and toes okay. and, uh, you know, country dance. Uh, <laughs> a square all, dance doing ballet. All kinds of dancings. Okay. And, uh, and the school wasn't there as well. So mm -hmm. we had to leave there, eat there, dance there and study there. So it's like, it's a different world. And, um, yeah, you miss parents a lot. Uh, you miss that feel of that somebody's protecting you. You know, like you're, on, right. you're just all of a sudden on your own. I have older brother and I have a very confident and smart parents uh, who wouldn't let me, you know, be the last kid in the class, for right. example. And here I am on my own. Um, it was very interesting and tough because you have to compete with the meanest people in the world. And who are kids. very highly competitive. Kids, they're the meanest. So, uh, as a director okay. for this this film, what was it like to work with Christian Slater? I wasn't directing him, mm -hmm. but I was acting with him. Okay. And as an actress working with Christian Slater, I should say, just a very professional actor, you know. He came, he knew his line, he didn't whine right. <laughs> about anything. So what's next? What is the next type of role you're looking for? Because this is obviously going to do very well, and you left it open at the end, there could be a sequel. Hopefully the next thing would be a sequel. <laughs> okay. And this is based on real life in Russia from maybe 20 years ago. It is. Based on a real book. It is based on the real uh, book and the real story mm -hmm. or maybe stories. Okay. Into one. So. We wish you huge success and hopefully you'll see many awards and red carpets in your future and we'll, we'll be there to talk to you again. Thank you Thank so you, much. Thank you, Sophia Skaya. I'm Thank Kurt Kelly for Actors Reporter and Live Video Inc. And we'll have more from the after party in just a moment. Coming up next, the after party at the Smokehouse and special footage from the American film market. Hello, I'm Sophia Sky, and you're watching Actors Reporter. Please enjoy. Welcome back to more coverage from the private after party at the Smokehouse of the White Swan private screening that took place on the Warner Brothers lot. And now, more from the after party. Kurt Kelly with Actors Reporter and Live Video Inc. at the after party for White Swan, a fabulous movie. And Naz Gashu is the producer of the film and helped put this all together. So this movie brings cinematography, art, music, ballet. It's amazing. Jeff Davis, legendary voiceover for many radio stations around the planet and WLS in Chicago, was at the after party and had this to say. You know, the movie was exceptional. I love the fact that we got a chance to see something of another culture and really in many ways how they are uh, a lot like us, but the story is very tight script, great acting, the action sequences are amazing. Uh, the sound, as you know, I'm very much into sound. Absolutely. I've done sound design on six movies, and right. I just sat there in awe of the sound. It was just so good. Very, very tight sound. And, 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 it's, and even it's really times where there was music overlapping with other music and stuff yeah, going on. It was, it was really, really, it's exceptional. And I, I, I think uh, anyone uh, who loves this genre, which is basically a kind of a, an action, uh, you know, drama, would love to see this movie. It's really a good, it's a great cast, too. I mean, seriously, it's good good people. We're talking some A-less people, and, of course, Sophia's work is, is really amazing. She's beautiful, and she's incredibly talented in two different areas. Her dancing, you know, as you know, she's a, she's a ballerina. And, Since age four. And and, uh, and she does a, a, a stellar job. And I sat there thinking, though, w while I was watching these action sequences, right. where she's doing these various martial arts moves and incorporating it with the with the, with the ballet. ballet. Yeah. And it's it's like poetry in motion. It was just so <laughs> beautiful, just a gorgeous work. Right. And uh, and it seems like a natural if you think about it, with the fluidity of being a dancer and being True. able to do that other stuff too. It, 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 and totally different than Black Swan. 
where that totally was totally different. A yeah. lot of dancing. This was dancing. I over there was a little the rivalry kick. in there, you know, yeah. with another dancer. So yeah. that was kind of interesting as well. And there's a there's some uh, there's really good backstory there. I I, I love the film. It was really well, Marianne Fortier had this to say. I think White Swan is magnificent, mm -hmm. and I'll tell you why. Yes. Because it has all of the emotion. I want to be a ballerina. Just like you, Mommy. It's your favorite thing in the world. All of the suspense. It's all of the just things that catch you in every movie. Without the profanity. Wow. And you have every and I've heard single so many deep comments emotion. From people, and that's that's another first one that I haven't heard tonight. That's good that it pulled. Well, you know, Kirk, way. when we see movies lately, mm -hmm. they think the more mm -hmm. foul words you use, right. the more intense the emotion they're going to and and um, get not from necessary. the audience. Right? Yes. Absolutely not necessary at all. As a matter of fact, the less use of it opens you up to being more susceptible, receptive to mm -hmm. what's going on in the show because you're not barring that from maybe some that are just overly done and become offensive. So you start shutting out some of what you're seeing. So why is White Swan not that formula cookie cutter that we see so much from Hollywood? Well, I don't know. What is the formula cookie cutter other than a bunch of vulgar language? Okay. Okay. So this isn't. Right. But it's professional. Mm -hmm. It's got all of the wonderful attributes of the emotion and the dance and the beauty and the hope and the love and the romance and the killing and the you and know amazing sound design too. You know the the video, yeah, the graphics, the sound design, everything mm -hmm. from the makeup and and every you think that these people were really getting beat up. Yeah. Right? Absolutely. And she Especially said the scene where she, she did the doesn't project. really kick them. Right. Now, really? Whoever's doing their makeup and whoever's doing all the editing and whoever's doing all the sound. The timing. And her, even. Look, her legs are lethal mm -hmm. weapons. Right? Mm -hmm. If I had legs like that, they'd be hiring me for the SWAT team. <laughs> and they'd probably have to insure them as they may have to insure her legs. After you know the what? Film. They probably will. Yeah, absolutely. Along Thank with you so her much. jewelry. John Harris was at the after party in Burbank at the Smokehouse and had this to say. It was awesome. It was, it was a delight. It was a pleasure. It moved rather fast, but not too fast. A nice tempo. And it was quite interesting and exciting. Uh, you know, good, at, good over evil. Yeah. The hero and the heroine, but he was in the beginning, not the yeah. end. But it was really fun watching the actress, it's Sophia. It's really amazing watching someone who can do such beautiful dancing and then all of a sudden turn around and kick butt. Kick some butt. So I mean... She was a pleasure to watch, but you could also feel her emotions. Right. She really had the emotion, she brought it to her part, which right. was really good. And she can play those parts where she was very loving and romantic, but then also, like you said, when she had to be tough in that prison, she got it done. And those guys in the truck, I'm glad she did them in. Yes, yes. <laughs> that split kick that took them both out is one that will stick in my mind for a while. Meet Michelle Fisher, producer, actress, and writer who was at the after party of White Swan. Oh my goodness, it was phenomenal. Yeah. I was glued to it. The story is so gripping. She's just amazing in the film. Absolutely. And when I heard that she directed it too, I just could not believe it. Right. It was phenomenal. Phenomenal. So if somebody's looking for this film over some other, if they're looking at, oh, I should go this film, this film, why would they want to go see White Swan? Oh, it's just, it's such a good story. It'll keep you glued. I mean, you care for this character so much and you just want to see her get through. And it's it's an amazing action film. It's well, with a very good story. There's the art, there's the martial arts, there's just like, 
the full spectrum of arts and entertainment all the way into action, drama. Yeah, and I love the way that a ballerina, you know, it took the ballerina skills and made her a, a really cool fighter. It's just, she's a great character. And the, it was a beautiful film. I love that it was shot in Russia. It was just such a beautiful film, cinematography. 85% shot in Russia. It was beautiful. Yeah, I, I want to go there. It's nice. Nice trip. Everybody. My name is Katarina Lee Waters, and I'm here on Actors Reporter with Kurt Kelly. Welcome back to more coverage from the private after party at the smokehouse of the White Swan private screening that took place on the Warner Brothers lot. And now, more from the after party. Meet Marina Erlova, actress and singer who was at the after party at the White Swan. Tonight you saw White Swan, which is all about Moscow and Russia, where you come from. How true does this movie feel? Does it feel like real Moscow to you? It's not really Moscow. <laughs> <laughs> Moscow, it's mm, a little bit better. In this movie, Moscow was very um, unfriendly. <laughs> well, but it was a Moscow of maybe 20, 30 years ago. Ah. Uh -huh. Is what the book was based yes, on. Yes, but I'm glad that here um, this theme, mm -hmm. theme uh, about dance and Russian Bali, it's really great culture in yes. the world. And um, it's very good that uh, in this movie people really see how it's um, amazing in Russia. Yes. And her dancing abilities, dancing, what do you think of yes. that? How, mm -hmm. What was your impression of her dancing? What I what? Her dancing. It's very professional, I think, and I was very surprised that uh, Sofia Skaya uh, can dance so professional and acting too. It's um, I never see actress who can do it really. And she did all her own stunts in this film, mm. which I thought was pretty amazing. Robert Burton, voiceover artist and actor, is at the White Swan after party. Here's what he had to say. I thought it was frigging fantastic. It was amazing. Uh, I like ballet. Stuck out? Well, because my you wife. Do ballet always, now? Yes. Okay. Just you know. You well, know. now my wife forces me to watch ballet. At least she did in the beginning, and it just became kind of a beautiful concept right. to me. So, to see that, uh, and then her take her graceful, exquisite form mm -hmm. and terrorize people with it uh, was was amazing, and uh, and it was valid too. Some of the stuff I was like, wow. <laughs> Amazing, the, the double kick across the face near the oh, end for the dramatic those effect. Two guys, whoa! I, I still can't believe it. Um, I was I was really glad that I came out tonight. Um, Fabulous, absolutely. Meet Eric Carson, director extraordinaire of many action films, and here's what he had to say about Sofia Skaya. We're here at the after party for White Swan, which is art and it's chaos all at once. But you made an interesting remark when we were talking a few minutes ago about it. What you thought? Well, my feeling was I've, I've of course, seen a lot of movies. Yes, you have. 